Tensions are growing in Portland tonight as more groups join in what could be a battle between left and right political groups this weekend, right in the heart of downtown Portland. We've learned dozens of human rights groups will gather at City Hall Sunday. Across the street at Terry Shrunk Plaza will be the permitted pro-President Trump free speech rally. And at Chapman Square, strong left-leaning groups, including Direct Action Alliance. Our Lisa Balick joins us from the center of this. Lisa, you just spoke with the mayor. Yeah, I caught the mayor at City Hall just a few minutes ago. He tells me he will be in town. He will be at the police command center monitoring all these rallies going on. And I've talked to a lot of the groups involved, and they tell me this will not be a family-friendly event. You afraid of getting a little black eye or a couple stitches in your head? This is Kyle Chapman, known as Bay Stickman, who fought with left-wing protesters in Berkeley earlier this year, breaking a signpost over someone's head. He's a key speaker this Sunday in Portland at the pro-President Trump free speech rally at Terry Shrunk Plaza. It's sponsored by the Patriot Prayer Group. The organizer of the rally denies the intent Sunday is to promote hate. Anyone causing problems, anyone saying stuff that we disagree with, um, anyone with any type of white supremacy uh, affiliations will be gone. Um, so that's going to be easy. Meanwhile, more than 50 community groups under the umbrella Portland Stands United Against Hate will rally outside City Hall just a few yards away. Organizers say they want to show their strength in numbers as well. I asked what will happen. Portland will take a deep breath and realize that even though this moment is very scary, it is one that we have to stand up for. Direct Action Alliance and anarchists are planning to move in from Chapman Square next to Shrunk Plaza, and they tell me they'll physically block Trump supporters if they try and march through downtown. Portland police and federal officers have been working on plans for days to handle the expected clashes. Just a short time ago, I asked Mayor Ted Wheeler how he'll try to keep violence from erupting. We'll have a significant police presence, and the goal is just to keep everybody separated, respect people's First Amendment rights to speak their peace. Now, it's right here along 4th Avenue where you will see a police line trying to separate both groups. There is no permit for a march, but that still could happen. And this all begins around noon on Sunday. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.